What's up guys? I am here at Skin Perfect. I am about to get my Spectra laser treatment. My face has been numbed and now it is covered with a carbon. If you go back to my skincare video, you will remember me talking about this being the treatment that absolutely saved my skin from horrible cystic hormonal type acne. I did a series of six treatments initially, and now I just do them every so often to maintain or when I'm starting to see a little bit of breakouts here and there. But overall, my skin has completely transformed and I swear I owe it all to these Spectra laser treatments. I got a request from you guys once I said that I was going to be back and getting it done again to vlog the entire experience so that you can see all about it. It really is pretty painless. They do numb you because it is a laser and so it's high frequency, but it really is, it's not bad at all. So um, I'll take you guys throughout the full entire procedure and I'll have my uh, esthetician talk to you guys a little bit about it um, so that you can learn a little bit more but I'm really excited because I've been seeing some hormonal type breakouts coming on my chin and it is time to get in here for this treatment. We are going to be doing a spectra today. Uh, we put some carbon on the patient's face and this will actually act as a target for the laser because it's kind of absorbed into the skin, help to exfoliate her skin, and for acne, kind of help the heat get absorbed into the area, decreasing inflammation, um, and kill off some bacteria. with the charcoal, now that charcoal in the skin acts as kind of the heat sink. And so what it's gonna do is when the laser's hitting those charcoal pieces, it's heating up the skin. So you're decreasing inflammation and you're actually killing the bacteria. And that's what the first part is. The second part, what we're doing is we're exfoliating that top layer of dead skin. So the charcoal now is the focus of it. And when we're doing that, the laser hits those pieces and they're exploding up. And so that top layer of skin comes off. So you actually get softer, smoother skin. You're actually uh, opening up the pore sizes, cleaning up the pore sizes, and exfoliating the whole top layer. So you'll feel that your skin's a lot softer and smoother ready the next day. And then the last part is work on any pigmentation, pore size, and also some of the oil production to really, really start to decrease that. Um, and that's kind of a series of them really, really starts to change that. Alright y'all, I'm so excited. I've been in LA since July and it is my first time going to... So we just got done with some stretching and some foam rolling and this will be the first time that Amanda and I have trained together in months actually. The last time we trained together we were both about a week out from our show, our September show and I just remember neither of us were really feeling it. We were tired, we weren't feeling strong so now we're both in the heart of an off season. We're both feeling really strong, really energized and so this is going to be a much different story, a much different roomy workout collab. So we are starting with deadlifts. is very 
light, but it's most important to get your form down before anything else. So, I'm gonna stick with this weight for the entire deadlift session today, so that I can really, really perfect my form, and then next time we come here, we'll bump that weight up. felt like about a million sets of deadlifts. I'm feeling really good with the progress that I made and really excited to get back in there and hit those deadlifts again. We then moved on to some cable kickbacks and some squats using this pit shark machine, which I absolutely love because squats are very challenging for me because of some hip mobility problems. But this machine did a really nice job at taking all of the added pressure off my hips and it felt really, really good. <laughs> We then finished up our workout with some sled drags for cardio and if you have never done sled drags, I highly encourage you to try these out. They are very challenging and they are definitely a great burnout for your glutes on glute day. guys I'm just cooking up some dinner now and it is going to be the bite meals veggie sausage crumble so I'm not vegetarian I'm not a vegan but I absolutely do support that lifestyle if that's what works for you but I have found that I absolutely love their veggie sausage crumbles they literally taste just like Italian sausage to me and I love Italian sausage um, so I'm doing three ounces of the veggie sausage crumbles with their green beans and then I threw in a little bit of broccoli slaw there as well. And then for my carbs, I am going to crush up some rice cakes and put them on top of a salad and mock them as croutons. This is dinner. What's up guys? So I am at the post office right now. I'm about to mail in my 2017 IFBB membership form. It was like such a process to get this out because you have to mail in a money order. They won't just accept a regular check. And then I also had to locate my passport because you have to prove that you're a citizen on the membership form. So all is taken care of and I'm sending this out today. I indicated my uh, first few shows that I am hopeful to participate in on the membership form, two of them being the Arnold Classic Ohio, the Arnold Classic Australia, then a couple of more local shows that I did last season that I'm hoping to do again this year. So I'm really looking forward to the 2017 season getting started. My mind is in a really good place. My body's feeling good. I'm feeling strong and I'm just really excited to start prep again. I know that when my mind is in the right place and my heart is in the right place that I'm ready and that I can fully take on a prep. If you guys go back on my channel, you'll see uh, when I 
was kind of at a crossroads and then I decided to step back last season from doing a show in November because my mind and my heart just truly were not in that show. And one thing I tell myself and that I communicate to all of my clients as well, I prep a lot of girls for bikini competitions and I tell them if they are ever questioning or feeling apprehensive about doing a prep or getting on stage, I tell them the stage will always be there. You have to make sure that your head and your heart are 150% in it or you're not going to be able to give it your all. And one thing that's very important to me when I get on stage is knowing that I gave my prep all of my heart, all of my soul, all of my mind, and everything within me so that when I get on stage, regardless of the outcome, I already feel accomplished because I know that I did everything I could to get up there. And that's what I tell my girls that I prep. I tell them, I'm here for you 150%. I'm your coach, whether you wanna get on stage tomorrow or you wanna get on stage in two years, I support the decisions that you make and I will do everything that I can, not only to prepare you physically, but to prepare you mentally and emotionally as well. That's why my girls stick with me for a long time because I don't consider myself just an eight-week prep coach. I'm more of a lifestyle coach. Sort of through that off topic, but uh, I think that's important to share with you guys as far as getting on stage goes and just any kind of commitment that you make in life, making sure that you're in it 150%. There's no reason that you shouldn't be extreme about doing something that you love. So here I go. I'm about to mail this out. And then I'm also going to be opening my P.O. box here finally in Los Angeles. I had my P.O. box open in Orange County still forever. So that's finally closed. I totally love hearing from you guys and communicating with you. And I know we have the comments here on YouTube, but I will go ahead and put my P.O. box address in the description box below. I love you guys and I so appreciate y'all being here. Today is a self-love and self-care day for me today. I woke up today feeling a little bit overwhelmed with responsibilities and sometimes I forget to make time for self-care and that's so important when it comes to increasing your productivity levels. If you're constantly avoiding doing things outside of work and you're avoiding doing things that are just enjoyable for you and help you relax, you're ultimately hindering your productivity level. Today, I'm going to step away from the laptop for just a little bit. I am going to just go for a walk outside in the promenade. I think I'm gonna go pick up a new book. If anybody has any good book recommendations, go ahead and leave them in the comment box below. I'm definitely open to suggestions. So that's what I'm heading out to do today, and that is going to conclude today's vlog. As always, I so appreciate you guys being here. I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to my channel if you have not already. I'm going to be starting the 12 days of Vlogmas really soon, and I don't want you guys to miss that. So love you guys, and I'll catch you next time.